Hello everyone. Welcome back to Back in Diapers. I wanted to come in here and talk to you guys a little bit about how this whole COVID-19 thing is affecting my shop and what I'm doing about that. So, as you all know, I am very much so self-quarantining myself particularly during this because I do have a compromised immune system. So I have to have as little contact with the outside world as humanly possible, which we have successfully done thus far. Um, and so with that being said, uh, the world is still going crazy. And um, right now, things that I make are limited. Um, I've had to stop selling my clothing items for the time being just because I am not able to get reliable access to said items. Um, as far as my fabrics and everything, um, there's some that are in stock, some that aren't, but the problem is that shipping is really unreliable right now. Um, it's taken me two weeks from the time of my order to even have stuff start to ship. Um, and then it's really slow getting here. So, um, for the time being, I am not selling anything that I have to sew. Um, I have a couple orders to finish up that I already have the fabric for, and those will be getting finished up. But for now, I have taken down all things that I sew off of my Etsy shop. They will return once things equalize a little bit. Um, but what am I selling? Well, right now I'm selling several different items. Primarily, I am selling pacifiers, custom pacifiers, guys. And we have all tons of different designs. But let me show you a couple that I have here right now. So, you know, this is one of my ones. This is a Gen 2 pacifier. It is from Little for Big. Um, I use them because this is the only type of pacifier I really like outside of the ones from adultpacifier.com. And I cannot afford those at this time. Um, and they're really hard to customize, by the way. So Little for Big has this Gen 2. It's been out for a couple of years. It hasn't seemed to have as much traction as the other kind, and I don't know why, because I like these better. Um, but these offer a silicone nut 6 nipple, um, and this is what it looks like. This nipple is by far my favorite. It's the most natural feeling. It's super soft and super squishy. Oh, you can see my cat in the back. We'll talk a little bit about that in another video. Um, but this is my one of my designs. It is a rainbow dash um, with a rainbow polka dot on a blue binky. Now, any of the binkies that I offer come in a range of colors. Some of the designs don't look good on certain colors, so I haven't put those up for sale. But currently, there's six colors that I can get. Uh, we have a white, a black, a green. It's like a mint green or a seafoam green. We have this blue. We have purple. And then we have this weird color. It's peach. It's supposed to be pink, but it is not pink. It is very much so peach, which makes this color the hardest to match. Anyway, so we had the rainbow dash as I showed you, and this one we have an Applejack. There we go. And um, I hope to have a few more um, My Little Pony designs up. Um, I had a spike one that is up, I believe, and I've got a couple more um, in the works at the moment. But hopefully we'll be able to have a wide range of, excuse me, my little pony. Then we have a couple different characters. Currently I am working on, um, I'll show you some of the stickers that I've made with them as well. But we have Baby Yoda. Um... And all those stickers, these are all the stickers. Um, there's three different designs of Baby Yoda that I offer. Um, and so those are all up and it's precious. I just packaged up three. Somebody bought one of each. Um, so just package those up. We're doing a uh, Lion King, which this is the decal that goes on the pacifier button. It's bigger, it's smaller than this one, but... That's what it looks like. Check out the Etsy shop, guys. By the way, I don't think I've mentioned that. Etsy link is always in the description box below, as well as you can just go on Etsy and search for Kai's Corners, spelled K-A-I-S-K-O-R-N. 
K-A-I-S-N-E-R-S, Kai's Corners. Um, and that's my shop. So for the link down below, whether it's Kai's Corners or Bingy Girl Creations, it'll work to get you there. Um, and then we also have Dumbo. I recently started with the Dumbo. That's the first one. And then I have minion themed ones. Of course, this is one of the decals that I use for that. It's They're all smaller than this, mind you, but um, that's just kind of the design. So be sure to look online at my shop to check out all the different designs. This one I don't believe is up yet, but this is one that I have done. I want to do a little bit more sparkle to it if I can, um, but uh, I have to learn how to do the whole rhinestone thing and stuff. But there are so many designs out there. Here's another design of my own that I've created. Um, and if you have option, uh, if you want a custom one that you don't see, please message me. I will be happy to help you out with that. Um, we've got Pokemon, we've got Minion, we've got Hello Kitty, My Little Pony, Baby Yoda, um, Lion King, we've got Pirates. Um, what else do I have up there? Paw Patrol. I have every character, uh, every dog in Paw Patrol, I have a pacifier themed for that. So that is super cool, and I'm always designing more and putting those up for sale. The other thing that I still can do pretty well is Binky Clips. Um, it can be one to match your pacifier. I have Paw Patrol. Um, it can be one that matches your pacifier, and or it can be just one that, you know, you want. I don't currently have a ton of them up for sale. I currently only have Paw Patrol up for sale um, because I don't have the money at the moment to just put it into materials that I don't know are going to sell right away. Pardon me. I have resin stuck on my finger. Um, yeah. Oh, one thing I forgot to mention about the pacifiers. I use a um, print and cut vinyl. So all the decals are vinyl. Most of them should be fairly water resistant by themselves. But to make them extra water resistant, I actually put a coating of UV resin on the outside of these. So you'll see that nice shiny. It has a little bit of a dome to it. And it, well, it's not. There we go. You can see that. Um, this just coats it and makes sure the stickers on the bottom are not going to get scratched. They're not going to get water spots on them or anything like that. Ones like this, this one is not a print and cut. This is an actual vinyl that I have. Um, it should be fairly, you know, water resistant as well. But just to make sure they're water resistant completely um, as far as the decals themselves go. Um there is resin coating on there and it's UV resin. It's safe to have by your face once it's cured. There's no problem there. Plus it's not gonna actually touch your face because it's not on the bottom of the binky at all. So those are safe to use. Um, I've been using one for weeks now. I've made my own, oh, I have sock monkeys up there. Uh, what else is gonna be happening? We're gonna have some really cool glow in the dark stuff coming out soon um, and fun stuff. I'm always putting up new designs. I'm always creating um, different things and I have a lot of ideas in the works um, but I have some really cool ones up there right now uh, and they can all have some sort of matching pacifier clip and those can be at some point bundled together. I haven't put them up in bundles yet but um, typically they can be bundled together. A lot of my stuff, you'll see my prices up there. For a lot of my items, I have the shipping included in the price so that you're just paying a flat fee or a flat price for your item. When it comes to the pacifiers, I have done it slightly differently because, A, when you're shipping a pacifier, for a bigger company, free shipping is a thing. But I cannot afford to ship for free right now, especially in this climate of things going on. I cannot afford to ship for free. So typically I will either ship a flat rate shipping box, uh, the small flat rate boxes, or you'll get a package that looks like this. This cost me about eight bucks to ship. So don't be startled by the price, please. It does cost that if you want tracking. If you don't want tracking, I could do cheaper shipping, but I've had some issues with that. So I'm a little leery to do that because I had an order that completely never showed up. And so I like having the tracking on there for your peace of mind and for my peace of mind. So we can look at it and say, hey, where is it? 
and we can figure that out. Um, so that's those. The other thing that I am doing right now, and I just sold my first one ever today, um, is t-shirts. Now this t-shirt design is not up for sale. This is um, a, a, a file that I am not allowed to sell, but I have put together a bunch of different shirts of my own design that I can sell. And those are also up on my Etsy shop as well. And like I said, if you don't see what you want, please contact me because just because I can't necessarily post a lot of the, the theme things like this on there, I can work things out and possibly get you one, um, one that matches your binky even. Um, I have a lot of images I can use for that. You can sell certain things, but um, I just haven't put them up for sale yet because typically I don't put things up for sale that I haven't made before. Um, so I'll at least do a test run like these, like this Dumbo one here. This one is going to be taken apart because this is not full quality vinyl. I just used a sticker paper. So it's not full quality that it will be when it ships to you. But I have a lot of different shirts up there, and you can always ask me for a custom shirt because I would happily do that. Those are one thing that I can do right now. It may take a little longer, but I can do it. So just be a, just feel free to message me if you're looking for something. I am sorry that right now I cannot do items that I have to sew. Um, that really makes me sad. But I am loving doing the pacifiers and stuff. The other thing that I have up for, that I have available, I haven't sold them yet, and this is not my favorite version of these, mind you. This is the first time try. I used a coating that I'm not real fond of and probably will not use again for the fact that it feels slimy the first couple of times you wash it. <laughs> Even though it's not having an issue, it does feel like it's coming off and it's slimy, but that's not the case. Um, I have been, I have made a couple of water bottles here. As you can see, we have a Hello Kitty one. I did a Pokemon one here, and I did a unicorn one right here. Um, and so I do have these, and I am open to doing them. Um, these ones are probably going to get put up for really cheap. I think this one's going to a friend, um, but the unicorn one's going to a friend probably. But, um... Yeah, so that's kind of where I'm at right now. So desperate times call for desperate measures. I've been wanting to do pacifiers for a really long time, and I finally was able to just do them. And I tell you what, I've sold like 20 or 30 of them in the last couple of weeks. Like they're going like hotcakes, especially these Baby Yoda ones are going like mad. Um, I've already sold like three Lion King ones um, and all that. So those are going real quick, and unfortunately, I, I kind of bought little for big out of white pacifiers. Um, they come in one, or they come in a box of three. All the sing <laughs> they're out of white singlets, but they have white in these. <laughs> so I literally have been buying them like crazy. I have six of them on the way. Four of those are already claimed. So yeah. But um, they're super fun to do. And I can also do the first generation pacifiers, by the way. Um, if you see a binky that you like, but you really want the original design, um, I can do those as well. It's just that I haven't yet. Because these are harder to do than the other size. Because if you'll notice, this button is way bigger than this button. Like, there is a big difference. I know it doesn't look like that much on here. Like you can see there's a big difference, but it makes a big difference when it comes to decals and things like that. This design is also easier to do than this design. Um, so just because of the mouth hole and everything, it's a little bit easier design to do, but it's also super duper comfy. This pacifier is just very soft. It's very comfortable on your mouth. It's not quite as curved as this one is, but I do still offer this design. <clears throat> I've had this one laying around for a while. Um, but just so you know, I do offer Gen 1. Um, on my, <clears throat> I had it listed for a while as Gen 1, Gen 2, NUC style, and then Gen 2 was just Gen 2. People kept thinking this was Gen 1 NUC style. This is Gen 1. 
So I will probably put them back up once I have like a picture to show the difference, you know, between Gen 1 and Gen 2. Um, but I hands down prefer the Gen 2. The plastic is so much nicer. Like it's not so loud comparatively because this is a softer matte plastic and it's just great. I love this pacifier. The only downside I have found to my pacifier personally for myself is I tend to fall asleep and lay on the pacifier. And if you lay on it long enough, hard enough, it can cause the resin itself. Not, it's not going to peel up. It's not going to peel up, but it does break the seal right along the edge. Uh, it's still water. The sticker is still watertight at that point. So you're good there because it's adhered to the, to the vinyl. But um, mine, because I literally lay on it and I weigh almost 300 pounds, it, it, it let the seal up just at the edge. So it's still completely waterproof, but I also don't use a pacifier clip. So it ends up all over the bed, gets sat on everything. I am really hard on my babies apparently. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and stop rambling guys. Check out my shop for the items that I am currently, I have shown, check out the other ones there because goodness sakes, they're so cute. Um, uh, they're very unique and I love them. Like I want every single one of them for the most part, but I cannot have them all. <laughs> so yeah, but, um, and another option that I can offer at some point is colored silicone nipples. Like they have pink and green and blue and black and white and just all the colors and red, I think. And they're just like these ones. It's just that they're colored which is interesting. I have not brought myself to try them yet, although they're the exact same pacifier nipple, just colored. So that might be an option down the road, I don't know. But um, I'm having a lot of fun. The other thing that I can do is custom water bottles. I don't have mine on hand. They're slightly different than this. Um, they're a metal one and they're a lot heavier duty. Um, and surprisingly, like I have my my personal um, water bottle that I use, a lot of people you'll see resin those tumblers. They put epoxy resin on the outside of them and stuff. I haven't had to do that on mine. None of the things have peeled or anything. I just seal those stickers on the outside so they're resistant to scratches and such. And they have not even peeled up. And I have hand washed those things like 20 times. So um, you guys may have seen, I don't have it in here. I was supposed to bring it in here. Um, when it comes to the rears bottles, I can do some sort of decals on those as well. They're a little more complicated, but decaling bottles is awesome. I'm hoping to be doing some Pura bottles here in the next little while once I have a little bit of extra money to purchase those so that I can make some examples because I want one myself. And those are insulated, so you can do hot, cold, whichever. Um, so that's pretty neat. Now, you can't put them in the microwave. Um, but that's the issue with almost all the normal adult size bottles. I have a key coming to join me, um, but that's an option too. So please, if you have an idea and you're not, you don't see it on my shop, please message me because I would be more than happy to figure something out. Anyway, guys, that's what's going on with me in COVID-19 as far as my shop goes. Stay tuned for the video about COVID-19 and regular life. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. Those of you who watch my streams all the time, thank you for your support there. Um, mind you, we're not making much money off of YouTube these days, but hey, it's still fun and I enjoy it. And that's why I do it. I love hanging out with you all and um, crafting with friends along uh, for the ride. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Have a nice day. Bye bye.